Well, one-on-one, -on -one, Marlon Marais, how exciting it is. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm one step to the biggest fight of my life, and I'm ready to take it. Since I moved to the UFC, I always wanted to fight with the best and prove I was the best. And now I'm one step to get to, to the chance to fight for the title. And I know I'm ready for, and I've been working for years and years of my life. It's just time to go in there and do what I do best, fight. You were one of those guys, before you made your debut, you, your name was spoken about a lot as one of the best in the world, not inside of the UFC. And I'm curious, when you came in and your first fight was a close, hard fought split decision, didn't go your way. Does it raise any doubts in your mind about, you know, am I at the level I need to be at? Am I where I need to be in my career to make it as a UFC champion? I was ready, you know, in training. I, be, I was training with the best fighters in the world and it was just a matter of a day. That wasn't my day. And that was my opponent's day. He should win and I should learn. And I learned. I got back. I trained harder. I, I lost that fight and I got a call and, and Ali said, nobody wants to fight John Dodd. So I said, man, give him, give him to me. I fought him, I beat him. And I kept fighting the top five, top six in the division. And I beat them all. I finished my last three fights. I proved I'm the number one contender. And now it's time to go in there and, and be the champion. So now you sit here, you're the number one contender in the division. And we've seen in the last few weeks, you know, turmoil in a lot of ways in that division, the champion, you know, giving up the belt after a, a positive test for an EPO. You know, you know, Henry Cejudo, the flyweight champion, stepping up to take on you, the number one contender. I guess just give us a capsule of your thoughts about how this matchup has come about and everything that's taken place in the last few weeks. I have nothing to say about the former champion, you know. I think what I know about him is what I see. I see him as a good fighter and he was there, I didn't know anything. And he, he went down and he lost to Henry. But this time Henry's coming up, he's coming to a 35 pound division. I am the best 135 in the planet and I'm gonna prove this June 8th and I can't wait for this fight. When you look at Henry Cejudo, what's your immediate read on him as a fighter? I think he's a great wrestler, but he's not ready. He's not ready, and he thinks he's able to, to keep up with the, the top of this division, but he's wrong. He will see. I'm, it's not going to look good for him. He's not going to take me down, and he's going to have to deal with me. He's certainly got a lot of confidence coming off, you know, beating the, the then bantamweight champion, and he's talking a lot. Um, in the lead up to this fight. It's not really normally something we see out of you. How do you approach that and how do you deal with that side of the attack that's coming at you in the build up? It's, it's easy to deal with. That's, that's, that's the person he, he really is, you know. That's who he is. He's, he likes to talk. He likes this all lights and shine, be at the fights, showing the belt, showing the gold medal. Marlon Moraes just want to go in there, finish him, go home and celebrate with his family. That's what I'm going to do June 8th. I'm a well-rounded fighter, you know. Henry's a good wrestler, but he can't keep me down. If, even if he takes me down, he's not gonna be able to deal with my grappling, you know. I know that, and I showed that before, and I, I know, I train with, with Olympic wrestlers. I know how they are, I know what they like to do. And he's a good fighter. I, don't understand me wrong, but he's just not on my level. You're, uh, as you said before, you've been a bit of a prolific finisher in your last few fights, you're calling it a finish in this one. Why do you think that's the case for this fight and how do you see it playing out on fight night? It's too nervous, too nervous, too scared. He's not gonna see things happening and he's gonna go out. Why do you think he's nervous? He's nervous because I don't think he used to with, with the striking, you know, he's new on the sport. He's maybe three, four years striking. He's a great wrestling, but it, it's hard to wrestle somebody when somebody's is hitting you on the face, knee you on the face, elbow you on the face. It's, n it's not easy to deal with. Mm. What will it mean to you if and when you get that arm raised and you're proclaimed the new champion of the world, the new UFC bantamweight champion, what will that moment mean for you? It means a lot. It means, it means a lot to my family, my team, the people that always believe me, my city, my country. They are, they are always behind me and I'm gonna prove I can do it. You know, a lot of people always told me, oh, you can't do this, maybe you should give up, you should find a job. 
I always told them, no, let me do it. That maybe this is my job. And now I prove to everyone they were all wrong. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go in there to destroy, you know. I'm ready, I ain't scared of nothing, you know. When I walk in there, I'm ready for battle and I'm not accepting any result without not the win and I wanna walk away with the belt.